Good morning, YouTube family. It's a crazy windy day here at VW Family Farm. I am heading out to milk cows. Uh, it's early in the morning. I milk some cows every day, um, like Miracle. She gets milked every single day. But then um, the early parts of the week, I milk all my milk cows because I calf share with those. So I will separate the calves off of the cows at night and then milk those and then let the calves out they get their moms for the day and then i will repeat that however many times i want to during the week there's no set amount i used to do it every day uh every weekday and i sold a ton of milk and um just had a pretty booming business going until one day I burned out. And I just needed a break. I have two high schoolers I'm trying to homeschool and give a good education to and prepare them for college if they so choose. That will be totally up to them what they decide to do. But I don't want to hold them back because of the way I educate them now, if that makes sense. So I needed to cut back. So hence my milking was one of the things that had to get cut back on as well as YouTube has become a big part of our life. And so sharing our farm with you guys does take time out of our day. So I had to, something had to give. So it was my milking. I still milk for our family and I sell to just a very few people that are really local to me that want milk on a weekly basis. So I can count on them, they're gonna get it. And then um, that helps me out too, knowing my schedule. But there is definitely, definitely a market for raw milk. I'm sure in your area, just like here, um, especially if you want milk for your family, you're probably not gonna use it all unless you have a huge family or you're discarding some, you're feeding it to your animals or whatever. Which I know there are other homesteaders that strictly milk for themselves and feed the extra to their animals. That's a good way to fatten up your animals. It's really nutritious for them. But also, if you sell a little bit, you're making money to buy that feed. So if you don't have just loads of money coming in to be buying feed for a whole bunch of animals, we try to make each animal profitable um, and pay for themselves by selling at least a little bit to buy their feed. So here I am, I'm out here this morning, I'm about to milk my cows, and this is a pretty exciting day because I'm gonna milk Miracle in the barn on the milking machine for the first time. We started out over here in this stall, milking her on a stool. She kicked it over almost every day. The calves are hungry. I'll make this quick. We graduated out to the corral. Uh, we kept her in there for a while, feeding her, trying to fatten her back up. I milked her out there till I graduated on a stool out there milking her. And so for the past week or week and a half, I've been milking her in the barn, hand milking her, me on a stool. So today I'm gonna try to get her in after all my milk cows come and go. I'm gonna try to get her in and put her on the milking machine and see if I can't milk her out real good that way. So I'm just gonna bring you along. She could just totally buck this system and kick all this off. We will see. All right, one piece of advice, this wagon right here. I got it at TSC, it didn't cost a whole lot. It's a lifesaver on carrying heavy milking equipment. The sides even come off and you can use it like a little trailer. It's invaluable. All right, so you can see all the mud. Butter, quit. These cows have a pecking order. Quit it. Let me get the gate open. And Butter is first, and she knows it. So the rest will wait patiently in their approved spots. There's Miracle. Josie's usually second. Then we usually have Calico, then Bella. We'll see how it goes today. See if I can predict it. All right, so I was having trouble for a while getting this to hold enough pressure for me to be able to milk the cow. Um, so Ben has got me rigged up with a holding tank over here. You can see it right down there. That builds up, I think he called it a volume bottle. Ben, correct me if I'm wrong. But it builds up pressure, and then I bought these plugs that go in the end of my uh, tea cups. And I'll show you those here a little bit when I take them off but it sits there and builds up pressure without me having to try to manipulate it when I'm trying to get it on the cow. And now you can see, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's starting to build pressure and it's starting to pulsate all without me doing anything the way Ben's got it rigged up. It's super handy 
to have a very smart husband that can figure stuff out like that. And then next, I just clean them up. I bring hot, soapy Dr. Bronner's water in a little Tupperware container with a rag. And then I bring another clean rag to dry them off with. All right, so Josie backed out. Now Calico's next. Now Butter and Josie are just not giving me much milk right now. Butter, if you remember back uh, a while back, back in the fall actually, uh, we made a big mistake and we actually let her have a calf with her old calf still nursing some. And so she never had a chance to dry up and build an, a milk supply again. And so her milk's never been as good as it normally is this time around as far as volume. Uh, her calf is doing great. It's enough for the calf, but it's really affected my milk supply. But I look at it like, you know what? That's what I get. I should have done a better management job and I will in the future. And then Josie, um, her main problem is just that her calf is getting old. And so over time, their milk supply dwindles and her calf was born back in the summer. So it's not near time to dry her off yet for her next calf, but her supply is just getting lower. But these next two, Calico and Bella, they are, I was gonna say, they're my bread and butter right now, but that'd be kind of an oxymoron, I guess. Bread and butter. So she's usually full enough that when I get her wiped off and ready to go, she's already squirting milk at me. That's a really good milk towel. All right, so these are what the teat plugs look like. Uh, they literally just go in here and plug that off and help you to build pressure. See when it slows down how small the stream starts getting. And last but not least, Miss Bella. So I'm gonna get her milk and then we'll attempt to get Miracle in here. All right, I'm about to get Bella out of here. Let the calves out to have their breakfast because that'll occupy the moms and get them out of my way. Try to get Miracle in the corral and then ran in here into the barn and I'm gonna try to milk her. So I won't be able to talk to you guys because cows are sensitive to voices, especially voices they're not used to. And while she's used to me, I don't usually talk when I'm out here because I'm by myself, unless I talk to them. So I don't wanna cause any more stress on her than she's already gonna think about what's going on. So here we go, let's get started. She's probably not sure about this milker noise because that's not normally going when she's in here. Good girl. Okay, the rest of the cows, I kind of shut this gate behind them, kind of shut them in there. I don't latch it because I've had them take it off its hinges before, but I don't do that with her. I let her come and go as she pleases because she's new to this. She's been through a lot and I just, I don't want her to go crazy and tear my whole barn apart trying to get out of here. So she's free to back out at any moment. All right, so you can see she came in.
y'all, I actually got her milked for the first time. Um, that's basically the first time she's ever been machine milked. We did it out in the field once. It was right after she calved and she was just out of it. I'm sure um, she doesn't remember it or if she does, that wasn't a true milking. And then Ben tried it once when she was in the stall when we first got her up here to the house and she kicked and kicked and kicked. So she was a perfectly well-behaved lady today. She did not kick one time. It worked perfectly. I got a lot of milk. So I'm back in the house fixing to pour the milk up and get it ready. And this job is done. I feel like now she knows what to do. I don't know if I got enough footage for y'all to see, but she actually backed out of the stall, which my cows come in the barn and then they back up to go out. I've heard some people say that cows aren't good at backing up, but the ones I have are pros at it. I think cows are just creatures of habit. Whatever you ask them to do, um, as long as they can figure out what it is, they will try to do it. So uh, they're really smart animals. And so the last few days she's been backing out as well. She turned around the first time, which is not good. She'll get herself hurt or stuck or uh, knock stuff over. So then after that, I kind of blocked her path where she couldn't turn around and she's backed out like a champ every time. So um, anyway, it went really well. I'm going to get this milk put up and moving on. And I will see you guys later. God bless.